As people, we constantly fall short. We're imperfect beings, and these failures we face are a vital part of our life. Everyone goes through it, yet there are not many anime that show the true reality of those who struggle to overcome failure. All too often, our protagonists are considered special and individualized, equipped with abilities that allow them to easily overcome their faults and adversaries, become the heroes we all dream to be. Welcome to the NHK, though doesn't do that. Sato isn't a heroic protagonist. He isn't a considerably strong person, nor is he smart. He struggles to overcome his hikimori shaden tendencies, which build from his desire to run and hide from reality, something we all, even if too afraid to admit, have done at some point in our lives. It's easy to run away. It's easy to avert your eyes from the parts of yourself you don't like. But while that may provide momentary comfort, it leads to a life of suffering and self-doubt, of not being good enough for ourselves because we know we can do better. Through Sato's journey to open- You're going forward through time one second every second. Congratulations, you're a time traveler. A bit lame, but let's start here to get to the fun of real time travel to ride on dinosaurs and high five Einstein. Time isn't really a thing that passes, but a dimension, a direction you can move in. We think our universe is four-dimensional, with three spatial and one time dimensions smooshed together into a fancy thing we call space-time. What you experience as time passing and your life happening is actually you moving through the time dimension. And this dimension is a bummer. While you can go forward, backward, left and right, up and down in the space dimensions, in time, you can only go forward. You only get older, never younger. You can't make detours. But this is an illusion. You have far more control over how you move through time. To explain how this actually works, without making a maths video, we have to make a lot of physicists grumpy. So please keep in mind that we're simplifying and lying a bit. Okay, so there's a very strange rule. Everything in our universe moves at the speed of light through four-dimensional space-time. Your speed through space-time is the sum of your separate speeds through time and space. It's impossible for you to stay still. Even if you're not moving through space dimensions, you're moving through the time dimension, blasting face-first into the future. You can slow down in the time dimension by moving faster through the space dimensions, but in total, you will always move at the speed of light through space-time. If you could somehow truly stand still in space, you'd still move through time at the speed of light and the other way round. Photons, light particles, move at the speed of light through space. They don't experience any time passing because their speed in that time dimension is zero. In the time dimension, they're frozen in place. If you see light on Earth, from the photon's perspective, it was just on the surface of the sun and then suddenly crashed into your eye with nothing happening in between. Remember, we're telling a science story here. In real life, things are more complicated. For one, it's impossible to truly stand still relative to space itself. You can only be standing still relative to other things in space. And you can't really define a reference frame for photons as we just did. For details, check out our sources. But now, back to our story. Okay, so everything in the universe moves at the same breathtaking speed, but this speed is split between space and time which leads to all sorts of wacky things and where we can see time travel happen. Real and easy time travel. When a bus...
come and tell me when it's time to. Sweetheart is bleeding in the snow cone. So smart, she's leading me to ozone. Music for great communicator. Use two sticks to make it in the nature. I'll get you into penetration. The gender of a generation. The path of every other nation. Look your way to go to meditation. This job is gonna be a close one. Smoke rings, I know you're gonna blow one. All on a spaceship as a beer. Just to read through. 